Happy birthday, mother. Today is your memorable 50th birthday. I left your present on top of the living room. Thank you. I just got home. I'll open it as soon as I can. What the hell does this mean? What do the divorce papers mean? It means to get a divorce, of course. I'm sick of having an old mother. You should just get a divorce and go away. Why do you say that? Because you've embarrassed me a lot. The other day at the tournament, you came without permission. I told you not to come because it was embarrassing. Because the Parent Teacher Association has many roles to play. I can't just not go because of that. Besides, I want to see my daughter in action with my own eyes. You've got to be kidding me. Because of you, I'm now being told by a senior I admire. She said your mom looks really old. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was? I'm the only one who has a mother who gave birth at an older age. I wanted to keep it a secret from my senior. Olivia, I want you to divorce dad. I don't need an old mother. You'd divorce for the sake of your beautiful daughter, wouldn't you? It's the best gift in my life. What? I didn't know you hated me that much. If that's the case, I don't have a choice. I'm divorcing him. I'll sign these divorce papers right away. What? Are you sure? Are you really going to divorce dad? What? You don't want me to? After preparing this? Well, it's not that, but it's just so easy. I was sure you'd be against it. I didn't expect the divorce to go so smoothly. Actually, I've been thinking about divorcing your father for a while. So I'm accepting this as a good opportunity. Oh, okay. I know you'll find out soon enough, so I'm going to tell you, but it seems like your father has a young girlfriend. Oh, does that mean he's cheating? That's what it means. That's why I'm divorcing him. My daughter hates me, and my husband is cheating on me. There's no point in me staying in this house anymore. What is this? It's super funny. It's so sad that both your husband and your kid has abandoned you. You're so miserable, mom. It's true. The child I've longed to have is handing me divorce papers. It did hurt a little. A scar doesn't hurt a wrinkled old hag, right? Well then, as soon as you sign the divorce papers, pack up your stuff. You don't belong in this house anymore. Get the hell out of here, you old bitch. Hey, Emma. How long have you known about my affair? About six months, I guess. I saw you when I went to the next town to buy some stuff for Olivia's club activities. Damn it. I always went to the next town to avoid being caught. I didn't think you'd take advantage of that. Of course you want a divorce, right? Don't tell me you don't want a divorce. Yeah, of course I want a divorce. In fact, I'd appreciate it. I was gonna ask for a divorce sooner or later. I didn't think I'll be able to get a divorce so soon. Well, I guess then she wasn't just a fling, was she? You chose her over me. Of course I would. A young girl is more comfortable to be with than a tired old hag. Besides, Olivia is overjoyed to see her young mother. You already told her that. She was overjoyed when I showed her the picture. She said, such a beautiful woman is going to be my mother. She had sparkles in her eyes. I see. So, as far as the future goes, I'm not paying child support. In exchange, I'll leave alimony out of it. Is that okay? 
Yeah, okay. And I'll sign the divorce papers and serve them here. I'll get them out today. Well, thank you for everything you've done for me. Enjoy your new family. Having a young mom is just amazing. She's beautiful, cute, and so much fun to live with. No matter what she cooks, it's always so stylish. It's also Instagram worthy. Yeah, I'm glad you're so close. We're so close. We're more like best friends. I've always wanted to have a parent who is like a friend. But that's impossible with a 50 year old woman. I'm really glad I got a new mom. I'm sorry we couldn't be friends. My new mom is coming to the next convention. I wouldn't have liked it if it was you, but I'm all for a young, beautiful mom. I'm sure we'll win the tournament with my young and pretty mom cheering us on. We'll show them what we're made of, and they'll praise us for it. Good luck with that. I don't think she'll be able to concentrate on the game. Hey, don't be jealous just because we're close. Jealousy of an old woman is just plain ugly. What? Well, I guess it can't be helped. You're going to be all alone from now on. You're going to be lonely and worried about your life after retirement too. You can't stop being jealous no matter what you do. You're getting so worked up. How can you behave towards your birth parents if I don't talk and just listen? You're divorced, so stop acting like you're my mother. I'm not your daughter anymore, so don't count on me in the future. I'm not going to take care of you or anything like that. If you're going to spend all your time backstabbing us, get ready for a lonely old age. I'm ready to live on my own without you telling me. So please don't do this to me again. I don't even want anything to do with you anymore. <laughs> The lonely old woman is trying her best to be tough. Whatever happens from now on, don't contact me because I'm not your mother. I won't help you and I won't come back no matter how much you miss me. Who's going to miss you? I'm glad I won't have to see your face for the rest of my life. In fact, I'm so excited about this tournament. I'm sure everybody will be jealous. I doubt that. Huh? Well, good luck at the convention. I hope you have a great day. What should I do, mom? I might not be able to go to club activities anymore. No, I might not even be able to go to school anymore. I can't do it anymore. I don't want to see anyone. What? How did this happen? I thought today was going to be a really fun tournament. I thought it was going to be the best day of my life that I could show off my mom and win the tournament. Instead of the best, it seems like it turned out to be the worst day ever. I don't know what's going on, but... Listen, mom, they're all terrible. I took my new mom with me. And no one would talk to me, not because they were jealous, but because they didn't want to talk to me. I tried talking to my teammates, but they told me to stay away. They told me to stay away because they couldn't concentrate. Oh, what's wrong? Everyone on the team used to be so close. We lost the tournament today right away. And everyone said it was my fault. That it's my fault they lost because I got carried away and brought my mom along. They said they didn't want to be on a team with someone who would kick out their own mother. Why do they have to be so mean to me? Oh, my god. Looks like you had the worst day imaginable. I mean, how did everybody know I kicked you out? I told my friends that my parents are divorced, but... I told everyone that I already had a new mom, but... But I didn't tell anyone that I kicked you out. Maybe they heard it from their parents. I told all the parents right after the divorce. Oh, really? 
I'm a member of the Club Parent Teacher Association. I apologize for leaving, even though I had been entrusted with various roles. Of course, I told them about my divorce as a reason for leaving. I told them that my husband and daughter left me. That's not true. And they were all crying and sad. They even told me how much they missed me. I'm sure it must be intimidating to socialize with all their moms. I tried my best to fit in with the parent-teacher association. As a result, I was really happy to find that people seemed to love me more than I had imagined. What? Do you really get along with other mothers that well? Yes. If anything, we get along quite well. I've been working really hard to get to know everyone for your sake. Huh? I can understand why you hate older birth mothers. It's a shame that only your parents are older than the rest of you. That said, I've done what I can for you. I've done my best to organize parent-teacher conference for your benefit. I've taken the initiative to buy things that everybody else didn't want to buy. And since I work at a confectionery company, I often brought in small gifts. Did you even do that? I didn't want to be a drag on you, and I try my best as a mother to be a behind-the-scene force. That's why the parents on the team trust me so much. Oh, but you kicked me out. I'm sure it's complicated for the parents, and it seems that the kids are watching the parents very closely. So they know all about it. When I was leaving today, a senior called me up and told me, "Even a junior high school student can understand how hard it is to give birth at an advanced age. You know how much you wanted to have a baby." And he said, "There's no way you can kick out a mother like that. That's a harsh criticism." But I'm kind of flattered. I didn't know there were kids out there who felt that way about me. I'm completely done. My seniors are so pissed at me. I mean, they don't even like me anymore, and my teammates are cold. I don't know what to do. Do something. I don't know. I'm not your mother anymore. If you're going to cry, go cry to your proud new mom. I can't do that. And my new mom was mad at me. She said everyone was cold and the kids' sports were too noisy and boring. She says it's too much trouble to pick me up and drop me off, and that I shouldn't even be involved in club activities anymore. What? This is no time to cry. Hey, I miss you. Just for the tournaments, you can come to the venue. You can pick me up and drop me off. Absolutely not. I'll lose my whole day off to take you to and from the tournament. I didn't mind because it was for my own child, whom I love so much. But for other people's children, I can't do it. I have my whole day off to myself. Oh no, she said she can't even go to club activities anymore. So it's perfect. You've been working so hard since elementary school, but this is the end. When you quit, be sure to say goodbye to everyone and leave the club. Okay? Long time no see, Emma. How have you been? I mean, we've only been divorced for a few months, right? I'm sure you're doing well. Besides, you don't have to go through all the trouble of raising a child. Huh? Is that supposed to be a sarcasm? You're so annoying, and please stop contacting me like that. I didn't mean it as sarcasm. I'm just having a hard time. That's why I'm being so bitchy. What's so hard about it? You got a young wife. You're having a good life. Your life is full of color, isn't it? It's not that rosy. It's just that our finances are pretty tight. I have to eat dandelions. What? Is it that hard to make ends meet? Well, it's not that I miscalculated. I didn't imagine it would be this tight. My wife earns a lot less than I do. What? Your salary in your fifties and hers in her twenties are totally different. Even if we both worked, the total was totally different. I didn't think it would affect our finances this much. No, it's normal. You can imagine. 
The older you are, the higher your salary is, and I have a job title. A ten thousand dollar for a monthly salary is impossible for a regular twenty-something office worker. I admit I was optimistic. I didn't think that far ahead at all. She said she'd keep working, and I thought life would be fine. But she recently said she wants to be a housewife. What? She said I can make enough money on my own. She suddenly said she wants to be a stay-at-home mom to support me and Olivia. Oh my! I can smell a premeditated crime. It's true that my salary is good, but not as much as yours. It's the average for my age. You're not that well paid, are you? That's right. And we had expensive fertility treatments. I paid for it all, so we have nothing in savings. Even if we could make ends meet on my salary alone, we'd still run out of money. There's no room for savings. That's a very difficult situation. Olivia's going to school now, and the tuition fees are getting higher and higher. That's why I'm asking you. Will you please pay the child support? Huh? Thousand dollars a month, or even half of that. Please pay child support for our daughter. I promise I'll only use it for Olivia's tuition and living expenses. So please, please pay child support. Absolutely not. I don't want to pay a single penny. I mean, you signed a pledge with those conditions, right? You said you'd offset child support and alimony. Well, let's see. If you say you'll pay child support, then you'll pay alimony, right? If you want, I'm offsetting alimony for both you and her. And now you're asking for child support. If you insist, I'll charge you both alimony. Oh no, that's a lie. Don't do this to me. I'm trapped as it is. Don't do this to me. Then don't ask. That's all I'm saying. Oh come on, don't be so mean to me. It's for the sake of your own daughter, the one you gave birth to in your belly. As a mother, that's what you want. It's not okay. She's the one who abandoned her mother. What? I don't love her anymore. I don't care what happens to you or her. My life is none of your business. Oh no. I mean, I hate her so much. I hate that she has your blood in her veins. Oh, you hate her that much already. So don't ever contact me again. Oh yeah. Let me tell you something. You should pay attention to Olivia too, okay? She doesn't seem to be doing very well in club activities right now. Oh, I see. It seems like the new wife hasn't really integrated herself into the parent-teacher association. If things continue like this, Olivia will end up quitting the club. She's been working so hard since elementary school. Come to think of it, I think she said something about that, something about too much work for the parent-teacher association. But you were able to do it too. Parent-teacher conferences are easy, right? I mean. Each one is easy, but there is a lot of volume. There is picking up and dropping off at every tournament. There is buying practice equipment and drinks, and you have to make documents for each month. Oh, you have to do that too. Why don't you do it instead of your wife? Then Olivia won't have to stop club activities. You need to integrate into the parent council and stop Olivia's isolation as soon as possible. Olivia's isolation? Is that what's happening now? I was the club leader, and I was also taking care of things at home. I've been doing everything for the parent association by myself, while you were off on your own, cheating on your wife. Yikes! Do everything you can before you call me. Well then, I'm out of the picture now. Do what you have to do as a husband and a father. James showed up at the parents' meeting of the club in a panic, but all the parents rejected him. Soon after, Olivia voluntarily submitted a notice of withdrawal from the club. 
Now she tends to be a recluse and doesn't go to school much. And his wife quit her job on her own. The two of them fight every day from morning till night. James, who is caught between the two of them, has lost a lot of weight due to the stress. His work seems to be suffering as well, and he has dropped out of the promotion track in his fifties. Finally, he has been relegated to a window department and is being urged to retire early. He cannot quit his job to support his family, but he is only counting the stains on the ceiling of his office every day. Let's see how long this family can last.